close your eyes. Notice when you're breathing in, notice when you're breathing out. Try to stay with the sensation of the breath. How does the breath feel right now? If the breath feels good, maintain that rhythm. If it doesn't feel good, you can change the way you breathe. Make it longer or shorter, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter. Try to notice what way of breathing feels good for you right now. As for any other thoughts, use them, let them go, let them go, let them go. We're trying to bring some control over our mind. We've seen the damage that can come when things like passion takes over, or anger takes over, delusion takes over, and cause a lot of damage. And so we see that in other people, and we have to realize, okay, we've got the germs of those things in ourselves as well, so we've got to make sure that they don't take over someday. Because right now they may be, they may be just lying there in suspended animation. But sometimes something will come along, and as long as they're there, there's always the danger that they might get brought back to life. So you want to make sure that you have some control over these things. So the first thing you need to do is learn to develop the qualities of mind that give you some control. There's mindfulness and alertness. Mindfulness is remembering what's right and what's wrong. And alertness is watching what's actually going on in the mind. What is the mind doing right now? What are you doing right now? And by staying with the breath, we're strengthening these qualities. It's like exercising the body. You go down to the gym, you get exercise, and you come back, and it's not the case that you left your strength down at the gym. You've got stronger muscles that you can use throughout the day for all kinds of things. It's just exercising the gym doesn't accomplish much, but then you've got that strength, and then you can use that strength whenever it's really needed. And it's the same way with exercising mindfulness alertness. It may not seem like much that you're being able to stay with the breath, but then when you find that you're able to stay with other things that you need to stay with and remember other things that you need to remember and your memory gets better and it gets more consistent, that's when you begin to realize that this exercise is really good for the mind. And In the meantime, there's a sense of well-being. You work with the breath to make it comfortable. Our main way of experiencing the body in the present moment is through the breath, and so as long as the breath is comfortable, that, that puts a layer of comfort around everything else that we may experience in the body. So you've got a good place to stay in the present moment, and you're strengthening the mind for in qualities that you're going to need in the future. So this is a good exercise to do every day, every day. Looking after your mind every day. We look after our bodies every day. We bathe them. We brush our teeth. We dress them up. But if we leave our mind untended, okay, it's we're ignoring the most important thing in our lives, which is the mind. But if you work with the breath, work with the mind like this, okay, you're. It's like you're dressing the mind, you're cleaning the mind, strengthening the mind. So you have a good mind to use as you go through the day. And that would be a lot more under your control. Anger comes up, but you'd be able to see this is something I don't want to go with, and you have the strength to withstand it. You have the mindfulness and alertness to say, no, we don't want it, want this. And you can resist its power. The same with greed, the same with jealousy. All these emotions that can come over and just create a lot of havoc in your life and the life of people around you. If you've got some control over them, again, life is a lot better. You're a lot safer both for yourself and for the world on all sides.